Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm just going to do a quick routine of three very basic, very useful hip mobilization and stretches that I use. I find these absolutely fantastic to use when I come back from a, a hard workout where I'm doing like some hard intervals or when I build up my long run and marathon training. I find once I get in from that long run and those hips feel sore and just a bit battered. These are the exercises I do throughout that Sunday. I might do them three or four times throughout that day, anytime I get a chance and then before I go to bed that night, just to loosen out that hip. So here's the three exercises. Okay, so first exercise is a sumo exercise and this is one of my favorites to do. So the first one, we get down into that sumo position, hands, hands on the anterior thigh, so just hold it there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my right hand up and then just force that right leg away. So push that hip into external rotation really opens up and gets a stretch across the anterior groin switch over left arm use the hand to push that knee posteriorly and relax and then you can push it again and i just do maybe three or four rounds on each side holding it for about five or ten seconds each time that's great and then when i finish if i do three or four on each side then just take two hands and i just try and push them both out and hold it down it feels feels fantastic it feels like a really good stretch across the both groins Second exercise, a little bit more static than the first and not as weight bearing. So with the left leg brought out in front of the body and coming across in a 90 degree bend with the knee and then the same will come posteriorly with the right leg. What I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna use my left hand to stabilize on the outside and my right hand to stabilize kind of in between the right foot and the left knee. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and lift that right leg up and then drop it down and then from there, lift the left leg up. So if you get, all you can do is get the ankle off the ground, that's about as enough as you need. And as you do that, you'll really feel those internal and external rotator muscles getting a big stretch. And also you'll feel that mobility coming across the hip. Again, I just hold each of these for about one and a half, two seconds, and then I switch over. As you do it a little bit more and more and you get into it, you can hold it up a little bit longer. And then switch. And then don't forget to switch it around. Try it the other way. So the right leg comes across the body, left leg goes posteriorly. And we're going to use our hands to stabilize, lift that right leg up, good, and then left, up. And like I said, one and a half, two seconds, you'll feel those muscles working, you'll feel a stretch coming across the muscles, you feel the internal and external stretch coming across both hips. Third exercise, and if you haven't done this after a long run, try it, and I guarantee you're going to come on here and thank me for showing you. So what you do on this one, it's a pectineal stretch. You come into like a split lunge position, you got your right foot forward, left leg back, both knees are at about 90 degrees, and then from there what we're gonna do is, if my left leg is back, I'm gonna take my left hand, I'm gonna bring it across, reach down towards the right, and as I go down, I get a real good stretch, both across that pectineus muscle, the one that we're really trying to get at, because that's the one that takes the battering on the long run, and it also stretches again, that in anterior groin, so right in around the top where those adductors attach into the pubic symphysis bone, that's it, and don't forget to do the other side. So again, the knee is out wide compared to the other foot. So you've got about a foot or half or a third of a meter between the knee and the ankle. And then from there, I'm just gonna bring my right hand, right leg back, so right hand is gonna come across. And I really feel that stretching in there, bring it down. Really make it dynamic. Again, if you wanna hold it down, intensify that stretch, you can do that. Just hold it there for a couple of seconds or you can make it a bit more dynamic like me, just down and back. So like I said, I do these sporadically throughout the day after I've done that long run. It makes a huge difference to recovery on the Monday. Good stuff guys, I hope you enjoyed those exercises. Like I said, they're three very simple, but very, very effective exercises. If you found this effective guys, make sure you hit that thumbs up and like button, subscribe to the channel. There'll be loads more coming up as I progress through my Martin training uh, in the next couple of months. Take care guys, remember, run far, run fast, but most of all, run sensible.